Today we are lucky because we are going to talk to Loktan about dimension, artificial intelligence, machine learning and everything you want to know today on the market trends regarding how to build the future there. Uh, I personally was uh, lucky to work together with Loktan within Casbank assignment where I was a part of Simgrom Expertise Center. Loktan was in my team and uh, you know at that time I managed to see how many efforts you put in every dimension task we had. I mean, of course, there are many hard workers, but uh, so to say, Lactan got a project himself, like a contract for difference implementation project, and he joined as a junior our team, but I still remember you had to handle everything, and you got a Thomas as a project manager, Yes. correct? How, why you were not afraid to take that stuff? I mean, you coming to a new company, you get a new task, uh, well, a new project, you see the system maybe for a month or for two, didn't you feel that feeling like, okay, well, I need some more time to get familiar with it, or I just going to learn on the way? What is, in your opinion, the best way to get into dimension, like from scratch, like you've never seen it before? What would you suggest to do to, to, to become exponentially uh, grown expert? So in my case, what worked really well was I received an academy, a Simcop Academy immediately after two weeks being at Casbank. Okay. So, and during the academy, you learn almost every basic and a lot of module from Simcop and it helps to get an overview of the application. Did you have possibility to learn something before academy or academy was really your first introduction into the world of dimension? Maybe you played with a Windows in Dimension or you opened something? Quite limited, quite, quite limited. limited. You also have um, I, um, e-learning yeah, yeah, and yeah. the same COVID I mentioned, which I watched a couple of video before I entered the academy. But um, if I look back, uh, it didn't help much. No. Yep. So do you remember the first impressions like before academy? Was it too difficult to understand the logic there? You just opened Dimension? You see some models, some windows, and can you compare it with the knowledge after academy? Like, was it really a big difference for you? It was huge, um, and you don't understand how Simcorp built their application yeah. from because uh, after academy you really got an idea how Simcorp want to implement their application from uh, back office to the front office yeah and everything is connected with each other okay so academy gave you that a map of links map of links and uh how simco want us to use simco image okay so after you came back from academy you already could handle all tasks or you still need some kind of mentoring you know what was your feeling like about the real work in the field like they say I think, of course, if you have someone who could teach you and show you the way, that would be nice. Yeah. But um, maybe business knowledge, they could show you like why we build certain things and what's the purpose of it. But technical wise, I think you learn best by trying and just dive in and build some stuff. The same with the software development. Correct. Yes. Like you can watch a lot of courses, you can be present, but unless yeah. you get your hands on. It's Hands. hard to, to retrieve something like from, from yeah, the Yeah, exactly. I, I also think a lot of software developers, they uh, learn everything themselves. Yeah. Um, and uh, you must have an open mind uh, so that you could pick up um, some flaw, some gap, some knowledge gap, and somehow trying to um, see what you're missing. Okay. But I remember you learned quite fast. I mean, you came after academy, then bam, 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 you started to get tasks one after another. And it seems like you really just enjoyed the way to go deeper into dimension and, you know, to see the links. And yeah, I, I didn't really notice some struggling from your side, but maybe that's what I could see from outside. Maybe from inside you would say, you know, Sergi, I was just... Uh, I don't know, working in Dimension days and nights, uh, trying to get things done. It was so hard. I was just curious because you do have strong background. Because I, I remember uh, people told me before you joined the team, they said, yeah, the guy has, um, 
uh, econometrics background, yes. which I know pretty well what it is, and I thought, wow, that's a perfect match because the mission is basically your econometrics but automated, right? automated way, so you don't have to do it on your own in Excel. You can just give input data and you get output what you want to get. Uh, exactly, because of my background, like usually we build stuff uh, with MATLAB uh, or other programming languages. Mm-hmm.